I'm finished with my meals. They're ready to go, and I'm going to show you how to assemble a meal prep for two people for lunches for an entire week. I've spent about $60. Um, and this is actually going to be some of our dinner, and it's our dinner tonight. So I would call that a win when it comes to finances. People say you can't eat healthy and be cheap, and I disagree. I, we got a lot of fresh foods and some very flavorful meals for the week, and I'm very, very excited. So if you missed my earlier video, I'm going to show you everything that I got, and we'll go from there. So hopefully this, ah, uh, okay, here we go. All right, so starting over here, we've got some the rest of my baked chicken. If you want to know how to make that, watch the video before. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Brittany. Um, then we've got our turkey. My husband just banged his elbow. <laughs> I'm okay. We've got some turkey meatballs, which I'm going to spice up in a minute. We've got some quinoa baked in chicken stock and water. And then we have the what, remnants of our egg cups. Um, We've got all our beautiful trays, y'all. Okay, I'll have to tell you about these trays in a second. We've got some sweet potatoes and some lettuce for salads, some chopped bell peppers and cucumbers and some fresh salsa, which I'll tell you how to make in a minute too. And then our spicy baked chicken. So, my thing back up here and then we will get going. All right, while my husband and child are eating. Hey, can I show them your... All right, check out how good this looks. Look at how heavenly. So it's chicken, quinoa, and fresh salad. Ooh. All right, so step one, meal one. Here we go. All right, hey, Ashley. If you have questions while we are doing this, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. So meal number one is going to be our... Um, spicy chicken with fresh salsa, veggies, and sweet potatoes. So we're going to start there. So I've got my red container, which is protein. This is about a half a cup, I think. So I'm literally just going to fill up my red container like this. And I'm just going to put it in my new container. So let me tell you about these containers, guys. So my husband... Um, surprise me and order these on Amazon. He got 15 of them for $15, right? Yep. Um, and they are amazing. They're microwave safe. They're very spill proof. They're awesome. This is my first time using them. I'm very, very excited. So Amazon, $15 meal prep containers. And they have partitions in them, which is key for me. So I've got chicken. Then on top of that, I'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of our homemade salsa. So how I did this, there's three tomatoes in there, finely chopped, one medium sweet onion, finely chopped, my roasted jalapeno from earlier, if you want to see how to roast a jalapeno in the oven, go watch that other video, some salt, and I think that was, I think that was it. So I'm just going to measure out a fourth of a cup. This is considered a freebie for all you 21 day fixers. So I'm just going to dump it on top of his chicken because that's going to make it taste really good. Then I've got my bell peppers here. That's going to be the vegetable for his meal or our meal. If I can get them to fit in there. All right, so vegetable, good to go there. And then we're going to do sweet potatoes for our carb. All right, so we're just going to smush the sweet. I like to use my hands. My hands are clean. Smush the sweet potato in and then pop it in the container. And then you have your finished product like so. Doesn't that look good? So colorful and pretty? All right, so we're going to do that for a couple more. I'll do one more and then we'll move on to the next meal. So if you have questions about what, how I've made these, please let me know. But the neat thing about these containers, if you see I'm measuring, is it takes the think work out of meal planning. It takes the think work out of, okay, for this food, I can have this much. For this food, I can have this much. That's just too much work. I could never count calories or count points, like for Weight Watchers. If that works for people, then that's awesome. But for me, it's just a lot of work. So I love. that's why I love the containers. It simplifies things. So if it fits in the container, that's a portion. So I'm almost done with my sweet potatoes. All right, so two down, and we're going to move on to the next one. 
Now, I shared this turkey meatball recipe. Oh, I've got a couple questions. Hey, Jennifer. How do you cook your sweet potatoes? I steam them in the microwave. So just like you would regular potatoes, put them in the microwave. I think it was like eight minutes for three of the potatoes. Then just peel the skins off and that's it. I also really love to roast sweet potatoes. Put them, chop them up real small and put them in a pan in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Or you could do olive oil and cinnamon. Makes them really sweet. I love roasting sweet potatoes. I just didn't have enough time for that today. Where did you get the containers? The containers? These containers come with several of the workout programs that we do at home. Um, but the Amazon, these containers came off of Amazon. So the meal prep containers came off of Amazon. So, all right, so moving on. Now these are going to be his snack for the afternoons, which he's really, really excited about because he's been doing Greek yogurt. This will cut down on his sugar and it's a protein, a nice salty snack for the afternoon. And he gets two of them. That's a lot of food for an afternoon snack and that's one protein. Um, so the recipe for that was in my last video, but I've got those snacks prep, prepped for him for the week. Um, moving on to the next one. So I'm just going to take, give me one second. I've got five turkey meatballs. I did put the recipe for this turkey meatballs in the meal prep I did last Sunday. So if you want that recipe, they're 21 day fix extreme meatballs and they are so good. Very, very, very easy. So I've just got five meatballs, and then I'm going to grab my carbs. I, we did this last week, and this was a really, really good pairing. Um, so I did, now the meatballs count as half of a carb also because there's um, oatmeal in it. So I'm going to do a half of a yellow container like this, so half. And I'm just going to dump that in with the meatballs. And there's the fun part. Hot sauce is a free um, flavoring in the meal plan, so we're just going to douse it with hot sauce. And then for the vegetable, we're going to do some salad. So we're going to do, I have mixed greens right here. And we're just going to put that, oh gosh, it's so much. People never starve on this because there's so much food. I'm, I think I'm actually going to do a half of a green and do the other half in cucumber. So literally just filling it up halfway up with cucumber. And then next, we're going to do cheese because who doesn't love cheese? So I've got my blue container. This helps me measure my healthy fats. So cheese, hummus, avocado, things like that go in this container. I'm only going to do half so we can have half for other meals. I'm going to sprinkle that over, and then I'll pair with that um, a light balsamic vinaigrette to go with that. So if you can see, doesn't that look so good? My mouth is watering just looking at it. So and I'll just go, I'll do one more, and then I'll finish this up off the video. So I've got five meatballs and a half of a yellow of quinoa. My tip for quinoa, because I really hate the flavor, to be honest with you guys, is cook it with chicken broth. So instead of making it with water solely, cook it like half chicken broth, broth half water, and the flavor is so much better. Because I just can't do straight up quinoa. Alright, uh -oh. right, and so the neat thing is that this took me about an hour, probably a little more, because my child had as you can hear, was not cooperating. Um, and so in an hour, and I spent $60 at Food Lion, uh, we have meals for the whole week. So I'm really excited about that. And the neat thing about prepping is that it has actually saved us money. I was, asking, I was talking to Donnie about that earlier today, and I asked him if we were on budget for our food because I can't seem to get everything all in one, one trip. You know how you get your food, you get your groceries, and you come home and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot bananas. Well, that's happened to me a lot recently. And so I was worried that I had gone over our food budget. Yeah, yeah. And I asked him, and he was like, actually, we're saving money because before I started meal prepping, I've done some meal prepping here and there, but I haven't done a full, like, committed to it for a month like I have this go around. And it has actually saved us money because before, I would cook some, but then if things weren't ready, then we would end up going out to eat. So we were spending about $100 a week on groceries, and then on top of that, we were spending, you know, however much money, two to three times a week 
eating out, and it was usually junk, and that's partially why my have plateaued for so long. Um, so it's saved us money, it's cleaner, I've lost weight meal prepping. I highly encourage you, if you haven't meal prepped before, try it for a week, because your excuses are going to diminish if you have taken the time to meal prep like this, I can assure you. And it's so satisfying to spend an hour on a Sunday, and honestly, chopping up vegetables and all that is really therapeutic for me. The sucky part is the dishes, which you can't see, but my sink is overflowing. <laughs> but hey, Brooke, I see you. Brooke, Brooke, have you meal prepped for the week? I know that you were started doing that too. So I'm going to finish this, and it's going to be a beautiful array of prepped foods for the week. Delicious, delicious meals. And the, the flavor in these meals is there. One of the things that I see to happen too often is people who meal prep, meal prep foods that don't taste good. No one wants to eat steamed broccoli and steamed sweet potatoes and boring chicken every day of the week. That's just not real life. You will give up if you set yourself up that way. So I encourage you to find things like these recipes, the homemade salsa, so easy, so good. You've got um, egg cups that are delicious and taste amazing. Um, and so all of this is so full of flavor. You've got buffalo turkey meatballs. What more can you want? So how do you know how much to cook for a whole week? Um, so one sweet potato is usually two servings. So you're going to get two meals out of that or for us, one sweet potato for one lunch. Um, and then as far as the rest of it, usually one piece, one bone skinless chicken breast is two servings. The meatballs, I make, the recipe calls, makes 30 of them, and then five of them is a serving. So a lot of these recipes come with it. Um, I've, it's kind of trial and error. So some weeks I make too much food, and some weeks I don't make enough. I've got a couple questions. So, all right, so hi, I answered that one. So excited to see this love side idea go. Thank you. Um, when you have done the meal prep before, you tend to run out of things when packing. Okay, um, so I would recommend keeping some, I tend to bulk prep a lot of carbs because that tends to be the thing that takes the most time for me. So sweet potatoes, quinoa, um, steel cut oatmeal, things like that, I will bulk prep those so I don't run out. But I would just highly encourage you to keep some fresh veggies on hand, some um, bulk prep some chicken because you can spice that up with buffalo sauce, you can put some Italian vinaigrette on it, do some balsamic vinegar, something like that to spice it up a little bit. I hope that answers your question. Um, do you rinse your quinoa before you cook it? Yes, I do. If you don't, that could be contributing to the bad taste. I do actually rinse it. I just don't love the taste of quinoa, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm working on it, and so half water, half chicken broth really, really helps. All right, Megan says, I meal prepped and don't want to eat it. Now I realize it's because I'm making food I don't like. Yes, absolutely, because one of the things is boring food. Nobody wants to eat boring food, so I'm really passionate about having food that tastes good because I can't do bland, boring routine, and I particularly cannot eat the same thing over and over and over again. So my tip to you, which I have said in my previous videos, pick two things to prep per category. So pick two carbs. So today I did quinoa and sweet potatoes. Pick two proteins. Today I did chicken and um, turkey meatballs. And then pick two vegetables. So we had bell peppers and then side salad. So you pick two out of each category and it simplifies it. It gives you some variety and it keeps things from being boring because you can mix and match and pair and not go crazy with the monotony of eating the same thing every day. Um, so that would be my tip for meal prepping is to find things you like that taste good and to minimalize it, don't overthink it, don't try to have five different recipes to cook all at one time. You'll get worn out, you'll get anxious, you'll get overwhelmed, and it's not fun. So, meal prepping should be enjoyable. For me, it's therapeutic, because my husband will watch my child, <laughs> and so I can chop and cook and prep away. So, thank you so much for watching, and if you have questions about it, let me know. If you wanna learn more about how to get these containers, let me know. The, this has been the meal plan that I have followed, for the last year and how I have lost 70 pounds. My husband joined from the other room. Aiden says, hey, I bet he says screams. That's what he's been doing today. Um, so we're all set for today. I'm gonna finish meal prepping and I'll post a pretty pic later on. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have questions, let me know. I really enjoy doing these videos and I'm, I'm not gonna do them every week because I think that would just be monotonous and boring to you guys, but I will probably continue to do them periodically on Sundays. 
So I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have any feedback, please comment below, and y'all have an awesome rest of your Sunday.